For more than 40 years, people in Buffalo, New York, have gathered on the Monday after Easter for something they call Dingus Day. It's a city-sanctioned party, so much a part of the culture that it's included as an official holiday in city labor contracts. It's not just the dancing, beer, and Polish sausages that make Dingus Day so popular. It's the day's odd courting ritual that brings revelers to Buffalo in search of true love. Dina Templerastin reports. At the VFW Hall on Walden Avenue, the room is shaking as dozens of couples polka across the dance floor. Women in pastel Easter dresses and men in polyester slacks spin around the floor at such breakneck speed, non-dancers press themselves against the wall for safety. Ed Biagai, known as the bad boy of polka, is headlining. For 44 years now, the end of Lent has meant one thing for Buffalo, Dingus Day. It is a citywide party where the Polish community, and anyone else who cares to join in, lets loose after the sacrifices endured for Lent. Anne Michael, a former state Supreme Court judge, decided long ago, after a vacation in Poland, that she and her late husband would bring Dingus Day to Buffalo. The Polish culture is quite colorful and um, distinguished in its way, so uh, it became an extremely popular event. There are two Dingus Day celebrations of any note in the United States the large one in Buffalo, and the other in South Bend, Indiana. In Buffalo, literally thousands of revelers flood the city's community halls and churches to dance, drink Polish beer, and most importantly, find a mate. There's always that chance that you're going to find your love on Dingus Day. That's Martin Binyash, who has helped organize the more than 35 halls where Dingus Day celebrations are unfolding in Buffalo. Behind him, men stand against the wall armed with squirt guns, scoping out the crowd. The women in the room hold pussy willow boughs. Everyone is waiting for the first shots to be fired. And I think a lot of people in their, in their 20s and 30s who are looking for, for, looking for mates that might have the same cultural values or same religious values come to Dingus Day hoping they're going to find that perfect match. Because in modern day society, it's very hard to meet somebody with like-minded values. Dingus Day likely began in Poland though no one is exactly sure, and no one seems to know where the name came from. The story goes that men carried water from house to house to sprinkle a girl they fancied. The girls hit the boys with pussy willow branches if they returned their affections. A reasonable person could ask how such a ritual could lead to bliss, but here in Buffalo, it seems to work. Just ask Joel and Chris Bartlett. They met on Dingus Day 2004, and they've been married for more than a year. But I always likened it to the middle school way of hitting on somebody. You like, you like a girl, you go pull her hair. So it's, it's kind of the same thing. I had noticed like across the room that we kept getting squirted from the same direction. And I think I was just feeling a little friendly. So I ended up walking over to um, Chris and his friend, and I just kind of initiated conversation. I think I said something like, OK, enough with the water. The rest, as they say, is history. Since boys traditionally do all the sprinkling on Easter Monday, Easter Tuesday, girls get their revenge. They get to go door to door and beat and sprinkle their true loves today. For NPR News, I'm Dina Templerast.